Yeah, last, last weekend was a game where Case on Friday night had control and then lost it, whereas Sunday they just never got into a rhythm against Rochester. The University of Chicago, 6-10 and 10 overall, and they are 2-3 and three in UAA play. It's Emily Muller. She'll swing it back to Iacana. Erica I. Felice with it. Marissa Miles now. Marissa Miles from the left elbow. First shot's up and missed. And Chicago comes down with a rebound. The Maroons in their road maroon jerseys trimmed in white and black. We call it burgundy. <laughs> Case wearing the Floristone Mather College gold tonight with a black Mather across their chest trimmed in white. That's Barrett Eppard with the rebound for Case. Iacana with the basketball in front of that Chicago bench. They swing it all the way to the other side. Just underway here at Horsburg Gymnasium. Two games tonight, the men and the women. Foul underneath. Foul's on Chicago. Foul will go against Paige Womack. That will be her first. Good job, Ed. Keep working, babe. Here we go. Heavy Iacano got the inbound. Shot was blocked. Ball's out of bounds. It went off of Barrett Eppard. The Maroons will get it back. Chicago comes in with two wins in a row in conference play. They won at home a weekend ago. They beat Brandeis 73-61, then they beat NYU 72-68. And then this weekend, they had a Tuesday game, a rare Tuesday non-conference game. They beat Marion University. That was a makeup from prior to Christmas. They had a, a postponement of a game that two schools were able to reschedule during conference play. So they've won three in a row. Six and ten overall, but they started not well. That was Paige Womack with the first basket of the evening. That's Miles with a three. It's short. Muller comes down with a rebound. Off to Eppard. She looked left, didn't notice that no one was at her right, and by the time she went right, defense was there. Ties it up with Eleni Griner. And the basketball will go to the Maroons. Well, Case firing up from outside. Over the last few games, their overall percentage has decreased now, just shooting just under 28% from behind the arc. So it has been a struggle to hit from 20 plus for the Lady Spartans in the last two weeks. In five conference games, they've hit only 17 three-point shots. Following her own miss with a make is Julie Maguera. McGarra, along with Maggie Ely, are really the only two girls on this roster, Ed, that had any, any time a year ago with that team. And Ely, we probably won't see at all. They may redshirt her. She broke her collarbone. She's played only 11 minutes this entire season so far. So McGarra is really the only one on this roster that was any semblance of a factor a year ago. Nice feed inside, and that's Miles with the finish. That's Evie Icano just keeping her eyes up, Ron. While she was dribbling to the top of the key, noticed the passing lane and dropped it down low to Miles. Eppard with some strong defense out top. That's Womack with the basketball with Miles on her. Womack pulls up and drops it. Paige Womack has four. She averages six on the season. She's a freshman guard. Seven to two, Chicago with an early lead. Womack with the rebound. Case back to their more traditional man-to-man -man round. We saw them play some zone last weekend. McGarry missed it, Eppard got the rebound. Ball's knocked out of bounds by Chicago. Case will keep it, 26 seconds to shoot. That's Erica High Felice with a long football pass down court. Jenna Lillimo will check in for Chicago. Lillimo, a 5'9'' senior guard from Hopkins High School in Minnetonka, Minnesota. Just outside the Twin Cities. Nice drive by Erica I. Felice. Seven four, case down three. Approaching four minutes into this opening half. Womack's been hot, this one's short. A long rebound, though, comes out to her teammate Griner. Right over the back of Barrett Eppert. 
Moore with the basketball in front of the case bench. Nice crossover dribble. And she dribbled it right out of bounds. All right, Reynolds did a nice job. She came off her Here. player and defended the baseline very well. Took it away, Ed. Up off the bench, ready to check in for Case is Brooke Orcutt. On the floor right now, it's Iacono, Reynolds, Eppard. Evie shoots it inside the three. It'll go for two. Evie Iacono has two. She needs only 21 to become the third all-time leading scorer in Case history. Now she needs only 19. And that puts her over the 1,200 mark for her career run. She's got 1201. Nice feed inside, strong move. Shot was missed, and Reynolds comes down with a rebound. Claire Devaney missed the bunny. Here comes Case. Erica I. Felice. That one hit the side of the backboard. That was a pitch and catch. It didn't quite work out. Jenna Lillimo tried to make maybe one too many passes on that break. Chicago will keep it. Case knocked it out. Barrett Eppert running the floor, got her hand in there, knocked it away. Lots of subs in the game for Chicago. Orcutt now in for Case. Inbounds pass to one of those subs for Chicago. And up with that shot was Christiana Murray. Murray missed it, Case the other way. Shot off the glass and it's good. Quickly up and in is Brooke Orcutt off the bench with her first two of the night. Case has battled back, they're on a 6-0 run, they take an 8-7 lead. Orcutt wearing 10 tonight. Usually wears number 41, but with the Mather Gold, she's 10. Time out on the floor, Chicago takes it, we'll take one too. Spartans up a point, five minutes gone in the opening half. Attending a Spartan athletic event and looking for a convenient and upscale hotel to accommodate your stay? Then look no further than the Doubletree by Hilton Cleveland Downtown Lakeside. Just minutes away from campus at 1111 Lakeside Avenue, the hotel features a state-of-the-art fitness center, stadium three bar and grill, attached parking, heated indoor pool, free wireless internet, complimentary shuttle service, and a warm Doubletree cookie upon checking in. Call 216-241-5100 to receive a discount rate of just $99 for the 2013 season. The Double Tree by Hilton Cleveland Downtown Lakeside, a proud sponsor of Spartan Athletics. Chicago will inbound it. This is young Maroons basketball team making a statement early in this game against Case. Off a high screen, three in the air, missed. Eppert did a nice job controlling that underneath, and I Felice came up with the loose basketball. Here comes Case the other way. Iacono to a wide open Reynolds and coming in from behind and blocking the shot, but fouling is Allie Shaw. Shaw pick up her first. Reynolds turned around, Ed, and I thought she had, I think she probably <laughs> thought she had a layup. Yeah, there was a lot of open space to clear, and Shaw came from the weak side, hustled back, and managed to get ball, but still got some body. Aaron Reynolds, the chemistry major from Webster Groves High School in St. Louis, Missouri. She makes them both. Strong point for Case this year is their free throw shooting. Now over 70% as a team. Wild shot off balance, knocked out of bounds by Case. This Chicago program was 28-0 in the University Athletic Association in the last two years. They set a school record a year ago. Ed mentioned 27 wins. That was a school record. Uh, traveling that time by Christiana Murray. They did so well that their head coach, Aaron Roussel, took a job at Bucknell. Bucknell. He is now the head women's basketball coach at Bucknell. And in his place is Carissa Sane Konecki. And Carissa's had a long history in UAA play. When we get an opportunity to get a shot of her, we'll talk a little bit about her. Case with the basketball and a three-point lead. And if Reynolds makes that, and she does, it's a five-point spread. Aaron Reynolds. Aaron Reynolds has four. Boy, catch, keep the ball above your head. Just face the basket and hit the shot. Spartans were down 7-2. They're on a 10-0 run. Defense is tightened and... 
They started to make some shots. Boy, Orcutt just hounding out front Cassidy. Double team on the block. Turnaround shot and a nice one by Allie Shaw. Shaw, 5'11", sophomore. Quickly down the floor and Emily Muller lays it up and in. 6 different Spartans in the scorebook run. Case up five, seven minutes gone, opening half. Again on the block, it's Shaw, the turnaround, this time she misses it, and little Erica I. Felice <laughs> comes up with a rebound. Smallest player on the floor. Orcutt with a ball fake. Now a pass out, that's Iacano, and Evie traveled with the basketball. Wow, that traveling call came from, from across, across the, the floor. Court. That was interesting, because there was an official right with Iacano on the near baseline, or near sideline. That call came from the far sideline. And one underneath as well. There's Evie, the senior out of Cincinnati Mount Notre Dame High School. Boy, she walked. She, this floor is, is very slippery, actually. There's like a film substance on it. You can see it. Players are sliding all over the place right now. I Felice comes in, sticks her hand in there. Paige Womack will inbound it for Chicago. Fouls on the University of Chicago's Caitlin Moore. That is her first. That'll give the ball back to the Spartans. Men will follow this game tonight. Case's men trying to get back on the winning side. They've lost four in a row. Nice. Muller with a turnaround shot. Boy, if Emily Muller can score, that is an added weapon for Case. Muller has four, the 6'2 senior. Evie Iacono is going to reach in and draw a foul. That's Evie's first. Checking in again off the bench is Aaron Reynolds. And taking a seat will be Laura Mummy. This is Claire Devaney. Now in front of the case bench with a nice baseline move is Jolie McGarra. She missed it, but getting it back is Womack. And that ball's tipped out of bounds off Chicago. Three looks. None of them fell for Chicago. McGarra's a good player for them. She leads them with 23s, averages in double figures of 10 points. And really the only player that was yeah. of substance a year ago, her and, her and Maggie Ely. This is Iacono off of a low screen. Misses the shot short. Case on a 14-2 run as Chicago throws it away. Spartans are up 16-9. Off the bench and into the game for Chicago is Jenna Lillimo. And off the bench for Case. And checking into the game is Amanda Germer. Germer, a 5'5 sophomore point guard out of Great Valley High School in Malvern, Pennsylvania. This is Amanda with a basketball. Germer saw some playing time a year ago as a freshman. Not as much as some of those other freshmen, but she did get on the floor. Nice move by Orcutt. They swing it. That's Germer from 18 feet, and it's good. Beautiful ball movement that time, Ed. Yeah, they took it from the left side down to the baseline and kicked it back out. And, and Germer stayed with it. Even being on the weak side, she continued to move without the basketball, got herself open, and set her feet for the knockdown 18-footer. Orcutt blocked the shot. Case the other way. It's Germer on that near baseline. Feed into Orcutt on the block. Kicks it back to Muller. This is Iacano with it. We'll swing it all the way over to Orcutt near sideline. Eight seconds to shoot. Ball's lost by Reynolds. Here comes Chicago. Oh, uh, carry. Abby wow. Iacano from behind blocks the shot, and Muller saved it. Abby a la LeBron James that time. Yeah, running the floor, timing her jump. Reynolds. Nice. Aaron Reynolds has six. Case is up 11. Everything is nice and soft tonight for the, the Lady Spartans, Ron. They're not touching the rim. They're on an 18-2 run. 
That is how well they are playing right now. Chicago will get another look. Fouls on Case. Foul is on. They're going to get Amanda Germer, I believe. Amanda Germer. I didn't even see Amanda down low. <laughs> Checking back in for Case is Barrett Eppert as Emily Muller blocks the shot. That is her 89th career block shot, 34 this year. She leads the UAA, and as Ed pointed out, is 24th in the country. Well, oh, that was just two hands come right down <laughs> on top. <laughs> Mooney with the basketball. Now it's Germer, back to Mooney. Julie Mooney, six-foot junior guard, four to shoot. I Felice, somebody will throw one up, shots blocked, and Chicago will get it. Under 10 minutes, opening half. Spartans up 11, it's 20 to nine. And with the lead, able to rest Evi Iacono and a couple other starters and rotate down through the bench quickly. Three point shot from the top of the key is good by Ellie Greiner. Ellie Greiner out of the Ursuline Academy in Cincinnati. Quickly down the floor, up and in is Julie Mooney. Julie Mooney, the nursing major, with her first two of the night. And confident, strong baseline move by Mooney. Nice feed inside. Barrett Eppert comes from the backside to block that shot and got a lot of arm. Foul's going to go against Eppert. That will be her first. At the line shooting two will be Griner. Ellie Griner, the 6'2 sophomore center, a 70% free throw shooter. On the season, Chicago a very good free throw shooting team, 72% from the foul line as a team. It's throwback night here tonight. Those ladies look like they're from the 70s. <laughs> Flash dance, maybe. Griner makes them both. When we get an opportunity, we'll show you Chelsea Lasky, the uh, student assistant coach for Case. She is on the bench. She, her throwback outfit tonight sports gold pants. She is noticeable. Case with the basketball. They're up 22-14. Down 7-2 early in this game. They have really battled back. Iacono with a miss. Muller fights for it. Follows up. She'll go to the line. Again, Muller very strong underneath Ron, not putting the ball on the floor, not letting a lot of those hands get in there. There's Chelsea right there. You can see Coach Reimer walk in. She's rocking her throwback blouse, but Chelsea right behind her in the gold pants. She also has sunglasses to go with that outfit. Uh, going in the Wayback Machine, what, about 35 or 40 years? Emily Muller makes them both. Burkhart cuts back in. Barrett Eppard will take a seat. One sophomore for the other. Spartans up 10. Eight minutes left to play opening half. High screen, and Julie Mooney, I believe, is going to get called for a push. That is Julie's first. The last time Case beat Chicago at home as Mooney gets a steal. Mooney kicks it out to Orcutt. That's I Felice for three. And Erica misses it long. The last time Case beat Chicago at home was seven years ago, 2005. Moeller with another block, her second of the night, 35th of the season. Seven years ago, Ed. Chicago has won 12 games in a row in this series. The last time Case won was in Chicago six years ago in February of 2006. 
Christiana Murray with her first two. Spartans up eight. Chicago trying to, starting to cut into that lead. Iacono with a floater. Beautiful baseline drive. Evie's got four. Crossover dribble, it's more. Good defense by Orcutt. Not a lot of movement from the Chicago offense. They swing it right side and they get an open look. That's Jenna Lillimore. Spartans up seven, it's 26-19. This is Brooke Orcutt with the basketball, now it's Iacono. Evie will spot up three, shot was partially blocked. Muller comes down with a rebound, tied it up, and the possession arrow will go Case's way, so the Spartans will keep it. Boy, that looked like Emily Muller had complete control and was wrapped up more than tied up. Julie Mooney and Emily Muller will take a seat. Marissa Miles, Laura Mummy check back in for Case. Miles will get the inbound, immediately up with it, rolls around and rolls out. Mummy fighting for it, and Miles comes away with it. And Chicago has a foul. It's Claire Devaney. Devaney's first, team fifth. Case will keep it with a fresh 30. That's Orcutt. Spots up, 16-footer, air ball. And ball's knocked out of bounds off Evie Iacono's shin. Chicago will get it back. Maroons one and five on the road this year. All of their conference losses are on the road. All of their conference wins are at home. At the Ratner Center, very nice place. I Felice and Iacono controlling for Case and Evie walks with the basketball. Evie dribbled right into a double team. Coach Reimer says she got pushed. <laughs> Evie got a little smile as she comes down the court. Ladies are sporting those white headbands tonight. And Case looking for a travel. They get the turnover instead. Iacano stop. Let the defense go by and puts it up and in. Evie's got six. 15 points away from becoming the third all-time leading scorer in Case history. Wide open look, threes in the air by McGarra. And Julie McGarra's got five. Chicago's not going away, Ed. No, they were down by as many as 11, 20 to nine at one point. Case was in the middle of that 18-2 run. That's Orcutt on the right block. Now it's Iacono out between the circles. They'll swing it. Marissa Miles in front of the Chicago bench. Seven seconds to shoot. Trouble inside, shot off the glass. Orcutt with a big rebound. Ball knocked out of bounds, but a foul on Chicago. Foul's gonna go against Caitlin Moore, her second. Credit Laura Mummy for keeping that play alive. Mummy inside with a nice fake, left-handed shot, missed it. And down with a rebound is Christiana Murray. Here comes Chicago. Maroons can cut the lead to four. Or if they hit that, it's a three-point game. I Felice comes the other way. Work cut oh, just <laughs> right in front of the official. That one was hard to get away with. <laughs> Big push. Ellie Greiner, the 6'2 sophomore center out of Cincinnati, the Ursuline Academy. Taking a seat is Julie McGuerra, and back in is Paige Womack. Womack opened the game for Chicago. She was red hot, hit their first two baskets, and including a three pointer. That is Orcutt. 
59% free throw shooter. Made her first. Odds would say she'd miss the second, but she does not. Makes them both. She's got four. Case's lead is back to eight. It's 30 to 22. And traveling with the basketball. We have seen a lot of traveling tonight, Ed. Yeah, and it's not the uh, the show and go kind of travel run where they. It's just running. Yeah. yeah. Running with the basketball. This is Iacono in front of the home crowd. Nice student section crowd tonight. Somebody up there pledging their love for Brooke Orcutt. <laughs> right, they... Saw some of that support for the men's team last week. Right. A lot of it for Brian Clements. I Felice for three, rolls around. That one was in and came back out. Case There's keeps it alive. And Orcutt hustled for the rebound. Ran through the rebound and controlled. Miles inside the mummy. Little left-hand scoop shot, almost went. Got her own rebound. Orcutt with the rebound. Oh, Orcutt underneath. Ayakano with a shot, won't go. Oh, Chicago can't. keeps fighting. Orcutt keeps hustling. Ayakano blocked it. Falls out of bounds off case. Boy, they get a bunny layup if Brooke Orcutt doesn't hustle down the floor That's that right. time. That's right. You mentioned that Chicago's not going away. Fouls on Evie Iacono, a hold inside as she doubled down. That's two on Iacono. Three minutes left in the opening half. Case is up eight. A program that traditionally has been a solid winner. The ladies in the program know what it means to win, and being down 11 doesn't necessarily intimidate them. Ball out near midcourt. Possession arrow will go Chicago's way. Maroons will keep it. And for Chicago this season, they won their opener. And since then, they're 5-10. and 10. And the line of defense in that is 70 points. Five wins, they've been plus 70. Ten losses, they've been less than 70. When they won that opener, Ed, it was their 44th consecutive regular season win. They had won 44 regular season games in a row. Iacono in the backcourt. Nice defense. She picked the pocket, cleared Devaney, and it went right off Devaney's leg as Iacono stuck her hand in there. Iacono's going to take a seat with two fouls. 229 left to play opening half. Julie Mooney has checked in for Case. Mooney off the bench out of Dublin Jerome High School. Just outside of Columbus. This is I Felice with the basketball. Now it's Miles. And that's Mooney. Mooney to Orcutt. Brooke has been solid. And she just walked with the basketball. Same thing, just shifting the yep. feet. I think Brooke actually thought she was going to be able to lean on somebody and keep her feet. And <laughs> She was surprised to fall back and have to take the steps. Off the bench is Barrett Eppert. Barrett Eppert, a 5'10 sophomore. Scoreless so far tonight, averaging 9.6 rebounds on the season. Very fast first half, Ron. Oh. Blocking fouls on Case. Foul's going to go against Laura Mummy. That will be Laura's first. That's Devaney. Gets a double team trap near the near sideline. Ball's knocked out of bounds off I Police. Oh, they case doing a nice job pushing to the sideline, and then the backside pursuit is closing off the escape route. And there's another travel. Anytime you see that person dribbling the basketball take themselves to the sideline. They're just inviting a trap. Right. And Case does a nice job. They cut off the lane towards the basket and then the weak side or backside support comes as well. And then you're in serious trouble. And the Case guards have such quick hands too, Ron, to reach in there and knock the ball away. Barrett Eppard with a strong move inside. Eppard took on Christiana Murray, who's 6'2". 
Barrett went straight at her and got her first bucket of the night. She's got two. Turnover, here comes Mooney the other way. Minute 15 left to play opening half. Spartans up 10. If Miles hits that, it's 13. She's short. Mooney working hard inside, couldn't get position, but great effort down low. Miles steps up on the baseline defense. Ball's knocked out of bounds off of Julie Mooney. <laughs> I think I Felice knocked it off of Mooney's forehead. <laughs> Chicago will keep it. The ball did not touch the rim, so the shot clock remains at 11 seconds. Chelsea Steen checks in for Case. Chelsea Steen out of Newark High School. Tied up, it will go Case's way, I believe. Yes, the possession arrow goes to the Spartans. Newark Wildcats, Central Ohio. Dean of Business Administration and Psychology major. Just a sophomore, one of the many talented sophomores that see a lot of playing time for head coach Jen Reimer. Eppard with the ball in her hands, one of those sophomores. And now it's I Felice back to Eppard. Eight seconds to shoot, 26 on the game clock. Eppard, strong move again, try to do a scoop. Thought she drew the foul on Christiana Murray, didn't get it, and here comes Chicago the other way. 14 seconds left to play opening half. Ball's knocked out of bounds off the shin. Wow, Steen got her hand Devaney. in. As Devaney went by, Steen got her hand in there, and it went off of Devaney's knee, I believe. Four seconds on the game clock. This is I Felice. Gonna find her teammate, threes in the air, in and out. Just missed by Laura Mummy that time. Well, was uh, I Felice just nonchalant about bringing the ball up the floor, Ron, with seven seconds to go. 32-22, Case at the half. 